PDF files contain vector data, these can be converted by NanoCAD back into drawing entities. Let's see how this works. To bring in a PDF file, let's go to the File menu and then choose Import PDF. First thing it does is ask you for a PDF file to import, and I'm going to use this one that was created by Vention. Click Open, and now we have a dialog box that uh, gives you a preview of it. See the preview in a larger image if you stretch the dialog box like that. Then over here are all the parameters for inserting it. Now I like to uh, have it specified as it's inserted, but if you want to position in a specific place on the screen, then uh, click this. Otherwise it'll be inserted at 0, 0, the origin. In this middle section you have options for how you want to import it. So you want vector geometry, that's uh, vectors that are in the PDF file, and those are generally put placed there by another CAD program. You want to import any text that's uh, saved as true type, and it'll be converted into M text, which makes it more convenient to edit. It'll also import any raster images, and those are anything that isn't a vector. Use uh, the layers that are in the PDF file if there are any. Uh, NanoCAD will copy those over, or else um, place it on the current layer, or else create a layer for each particular object. Let's choose that option for this one. Finally, you can import it as a block or as a group. A block, of course, means uh, it cannot be edited until you explode it, or if you use a reference editor, group is like a block but not as stringent. Okay, I'm not going to import it because I want to be able to edit easily. And click OK. Now you just wait a moment for the import to happen. And the screen might appear blank, but it's actually way down here. So first thing you're going to do is do the zoom extends command so you can see the entire model. With the PDF file now converted and opened in NanoCAD, I'm going to move the cursor around and uh, take a look at the types of entities that are in this drawing. So here's uh, this outline of this part, and that's a polyline. These uh, circles are also polylines, polyline arc. The uh, dimension, polyline, arrowhead, a variable width polyline. The text is mText, so if I double click on it, I can then uh, edit it with the mText editor. Everything else is uh, polylines. As I requested, entities were separated on layers. And so here we have PDF underscore geometry, which is where the uh, polylines are placed, and another one where the text is placed. So if you want to isolate one or the other, you can uh, freeze them to hide the text or freeze the entities to only show the text. Now you can place PDFs as underlays and that has a couple advantage over converting them to DWG elements. So I'm going to come here to the insert menu, choose underlay, and then choose the same uh, PDF file. Open it. It's a familiar looking dialog box. I'm going to specify it at zero, scale, okay, everything else is okay. Auto zoom, which is nice, it'll zoom to the extents after I insert it. Click OK, and there it is. I'm going to back off the zoom a bit so we have a bit easier time seeing what's happening. So, for example, one of the things uh, you can do with an underlay that you can't do with the converted file is to clip portions of it. So I'm going to use Modify, Clip, Underlay. Choose the underlay by clicking the edge of it. Press Enter to continue. And I'm going to do a new underlay that's shaped like a polygon. And now start clicking points to indicate the clipping boundary. When I'm done, I press enter and there it is clipped. One nice feature in NanoCAD is its ability to uh, deal with multi-page PDF files. So I'm going to choose this one here, which I know contains more than one page. Click OK. Here are thumbnails appearing of the previews. Once you get the page that you like, click OK, zoom extents, and there it is.